Top of the morning, top of the morning, back at it again with another one, and let's get into it. First and foremost, shout out to Trader Diego X. Shout out to Trader Diego X um, for this nice breakdown. We're just going to read through it. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to be going over uh, our game plan for FOMC Day. FOMC Day. You know what I'm saying? So FOMC Day, right? Two-stage economic release. FOMC usually comes out on Wednesday at 2 p.m. and half past 2 p.m. New York time. It is a two-stage high volatility release. FOMC is not so much the release of a number, but rather a series of speeches. So the moves in the market don't need to come right at 2 and half past 2 p.m. This is Eastern Standard Time, by the way. It can take a few minutes to see volatility. So we have two stages of manipulation. The first stage of manipulation comes after 2 p.m. The second stage comes after half past 2 p.m. This means that we are not going to get the usual manipulation and then distribution move. We are likely going to get a manipulation aimed at quickly engineering liquidity. Then another manipulation to take it out and then the distribution move. I'm going to just read that again. Two stages of manipulation, right? FOMC day. Um, news comes out at 2 p.m. and half 2 p.m., right? It's two, can I say, like what? Like, you know? Yeah. The first stage of manipulation comes after 2 p.m. The second stage comes after 2.30 p.m. This means that we're not going to get the usual manipulation and then distribution move. We are likely going to get a manipulation aimed at quickly engineering liquidity, then another manipulation to take it out, and then the distribution move. Pretty straightforward, right? So before FOMC, this release can have an effect on price from the day before. On FOMC day, price action might start consolidating after 10 a.m., ideally be done trading the a.m. session before 11 a.m. if trading at all, right? That's very important. Um, In a past life, I'd probably be taking part in the market prior to FOMC dropping, but that's not the case. Today, I'll definitely probably just paper trade, show up, just observe and see what opportunities would prevent themselves that I would take based off of my entry criteria and such. And then, um, yeah, maybe I'll take part in the FOMC news release during the afternoon session but to be honest i'm not really 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 eager or keen to do that i'm just i'm just calm you know i'm i'm just calm so after fomc after 2 30 p.m we want to wait at least 15 to 20 minutes before looking for setups in the pm session i'll read that again after FOMC or after the 2.30 p.m. release, we want to wait at least 15 to 20 minutes before looking for setups in the p.m. session. It's more likely that in the last hour of the day, from 3 to 4 p.m., the algorithm starts presenting more opportunities, right? So that closing our macro, right? FOMC meeting minutes. This is a normal one-stage release. Not to be confused with the FOMC press re- press conference. FOMC meeting minutes usually comes out at 2 p.m. So we wait 15 minutes after the release before hunting for setups in the p.m. session. In the a.m. session, same as FOMC applies, right? So just going to quickly open up forexfactory.com. What was I looking at again? Oh, there's some some, some dropshipping stuff that I'm looking to, to get into. I'm actually leaking my evergreen products, but it is what it is. Let's go to forexfactory.com quickly just to take a look-see at today. So Jan, no. March, no. Yes, 20th. Okay, so we have, um, that's GVP events. We're not really looking at that. That's actually about to drop in the next 15 minutes, my time. I'm in South Africa, so my time zone is SA standard time. I think that's GMT plus two. 
So 9 a.m. That's CPEI year on year for the for the pound. Not looking at that. So 8 p.m. Federal funds rate. We're getting an announcement if interest rates are gonna be cut or if they're gonna go up. More than likely, it's gonna stay the same. It's definitely not gonna get cut today. If it gets cut, then dang, we're kind of bullish, you know. But we'll see. Um, we have the FOMC statement and the FOMC press release that comes out at 8.30. So, for me today, according to the game plan, I'll probably just wait until, say, quarter to nine. Yeah, quarter to nine, if not 20 to, 20 to nine for, you know? Yeah, either quarter to nine or whatever, 10 to nine, you know? We'll see. But that's basically down on that. Right. Let's look at the third slide. Third slide, this is nice. It gives a nice um description or image of of uh the FOMC. The last FOMC we had, I think I put out a video about it, actually. Just go to the YouTube. I think we did have a video on fomc let me just do this go to my channel two seconds technical difficulties um no man don't reload trying to That's so useful. I think it's here. Yeah, there we go. Let's just take a look. See, yeah, I do. I do recall the last one, FOMC. Kind of did like. Hmm, let me just see FOMC. Yo, be sure to check it out. I dropped it four weeks ago. The FOMC protocol, thirty first of January. You know, let's go back to trading view or Twitter. Sorry about that phone buzzing. Yeah, anyway, so um, there's two parts to it. There's the first manipulation and the second manipulation, right? So the first stage of manipulation comes from Tuesday, I mean from 2 p.m. So, you know, FMC comes in two parts. The first comes at 2 p.m. and the second at 2.30. This means two manipulations or two purges or moves into a higher time frame PD array before the real move look for the two manipulations and then wait at least 15 minutes right so by that 15 minutes it's this distribution in line with expectations that's the second one that we excuse me that's the second one that we'll look to enter after sweeping the buy side liquidity this is obviously the bearish case right Obviously, it's the bearish case. So when you look at it, it low key reminds me of a original consolidation, market maker buy model, and then we get the sell model, and we target the other other bit of like liquidity formed, whatever. Like I said, this is the bearish scenario, but we'll see. But essentially, this is what we will be looking at doing. So 2 p.m. first manipulation, we just look to track it. Wait for 2.30 to get that second manipulation. We track it and follow. And then we just wait for the distribution in line with the expectations. Pretty simple. Straightforward. Just got to have the discipline to apply it. I'll see if I can't just some uh, live record the whole thing. So me watching the chart as the news drops to the first and second manipulation phases. And then we'll just see from there for the real ones you really want to see how 
how we get down to business. So yeah, productive day. Uh, sorry for bumping into my pop filter via the mic. Yo, I'm going to close and go watch the GBP now. See what's popping, and then we'll take it from there. Um, yeah. I'm going to be heavy with the videos. So I'm going to be heavy with the videos. More content coming. And um, yeah, man. Thank God for the skill. Let's go make coins. If you don't know now, you know. Be sure to give us a follow on Twitter. At S-C-H-M-D-I-I. S-C-H-M-D-I-I. That's where we are on Twitter. And um, yeah, man. I'll just be posting, you know, personal stuff. Um, signals thoughts i have a nice daily series going on about you know um trying to you know escape the matrix we've been at it since the beginning of the year and we just want to see how far we will get by the end of the year and just see the growth you know it's gonna be very nice that's what we currently are documenting from zero to six to seven figures in prop firm withdrawals. So, if you're part of the journey, let's strap in. All the best. Let's get this bang. <laughs>